We ask the question from the, from the beginning, what are the grand challenges that are needed in order to make a major improvement of what we can do today. We have students from pharmacy, students from chemical engineering, students from electrical engineering and mechanical engineering working together on one project. So that, I believe, is what makes our approach to centers unique, that it requires a systematic transition from the basic science to the transition testbed level to the real world level, but driven initially by the challenges at the real world level not by the needs to publish the next paper. So industry would come to the table and they would tell us what problems were of importance to them. We would then create research proposals that they would effectively interact with us on and ultimately we'd come to convergence on which ones to fund and which ones not to fund. And with industrial guidance and input, we then went after and won a National Science Foundation Engineering Research Center called the Center for Subsurface Sensing and Imaging Systems. We don't do it alone. We do it in partnership. We do it in partnership with industry and we do it in partnership with other universities. Northeastern is the lead university in both the Sensing and Imaging Center funded by NSF and the Homeland Security Center, ALERT, funded by the Department of Homeland Security. We've developed innovative technologies to help image breast uh, cancer development to augment mammogram screening. So that has been uh, you know, transitioned into a potential product by companies that are augmenting their mammogram-oriented breast imaging. In the area of underwater exploration, uh, we have developed things like autonomous underwater vehicles to go under the ice cap in the, in the North Pole region and image, uh, image structures under the water that NASA didn't believe could be imaged uh, with a platform that we developed specifically for imaging. That's also led to another center called PROTECT, which is looking for underground contamination from uh, polluted lakes and rivers as they percolate beneath the ground and impact the food and water supply for public health reasons. And what we've developed is a strategy of linking industry, fundamental science, real world problems together so that that new discipline can come into play and be a powerful vehicle to solve those real world problems. The uh, Center for Higher Aid Nano Manufacturing uh, is, a, uh, is, is led by Northeastern University. This center started in 2004, uh, funded by the National Science Foundation to develop new technology for manufacturing at the nanoscale. We manufacture a variety of applications in energy, sensing, electronics, materials, shielding uh, for radar, for batteries, energy harvesting, a variety of things. This wafer has assembled carbon nanotubes in a certain pattern for different uh, applications. And some of these applications are in aerospace. Uh, and for example, we've used this as composite structures for aircraft wings, for example, or other types of uh, aircraft uh, body. Uh, we use it also to, for shielding. We use it also for radars and also for sensors, built-in sensors for the structures. And so some of the companies that have funded our projects in, in this area is Textron, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin. For the chemical sensor, for example, uh, this was funded by a consortium called Advanced Energy Consortium, which is uh, made up of about 11 oil companies and oil equipment companies. Uh, for example, like Schlumberger and Halliburton, Shell, we have Rich Petroleum. This sensor, by the way, is 0.1 millimeter, the size of the sensor. And uh, after you package it, it will be one millimeter. And so these sensors will be thrown in the reservoir or anywhere and can, uh, can take data about the concentration, where the oil is, where certain chemicals are. At Northeastern, uh, we were fortunate to have the collaborative culture with industry that already embedded in the curriculum and also in the student culture and the faculty culture. So for example, when we work with students, uh, they already have worked at industry. They already had co-op experience and they already know how to work in teams. So it was actually very easy for us to, uh, uh, to put teams together 
to work very successfully on a multidisciplinary projects that involve skills from different fields. But also, these teams work very well with industry. So there's a variety of uh, companies that are uh, trying to use our technology to make better products, to make uh, products cheaper, to make unique products that are not possible using today's technology. We want to get engaged with industry, we want to stay engaged with industry, and we want to build great things together with industry. That's the whole point.